there, my name is Elsie and for the next 30 minutes I'll be bringing you an interesting conversation from one of Ghana's finest musicians. Our guest for today has over a decade blessed our screens and airwaves with impeccable tunes. Undoubtedly, she is one of Ghana's finest top female vocalists and she has proven by all standards to be a genius. I'm talking about the four times winner of the Vodafone Ghana Music Awards Female Vocalist of the Year. The crowd mover and the gingham herself. I'm sure you already know who I'm talking about and I also cannot wait for you to see her. So here we go. I love you deep down in my heart the banana to me on yeah in my coming in and ever my with the yeah tell me about some in the one about the yeah hello Hi. welcome to the show thank you <laughs> this is talk attainment here we laugh we dance we sing we have fun don't go away we'll be right back Welcome back to the show. I have here with me E F Y A. Hello. <laughs> I tried, right? <laughs> you did your thing, girl. I, I, you did it, though. How are you? What's up? What's happening? It's exciting to be here. Yeah. This is so lovely. There's all women on set, and I'm yeah. really excited about it. Yeah. So good, anyways. Thank you. Back. Thank you. I got it from Native Chick. That's my clothing line. Oh, okay. You have yes, a I do. Okay. Okay, you have a shop where you exhibit. You no, know, it's an online shop. So yeah, we just um, about to release a swimsuit line. So go check it out. I put it on my page on Instagram. I hope you have sizes like mine. Yeah, everybody sizes. Okay. Yeah. Anyways, so you've been in the industry for years now. You know, how has it impacted your life? Um, it's been quite the journey. So, you know, deciding to be a musician is not just something that you just take up um, but I've been able to develop myself into an amazing artist and I also believe that I'm learning every day and you know catching my goals and you know making music that will live forever I think that's that's that for me but what are you proud of so far everything I'm proud of my journey you know it didn't take just a day to get here so I'm proud of where I am right now I'm proud of the things that I've achieved, you know, and the people that I've been able to inspire. And yeah, and the music that I'm making, it keeps getting better. You've been one of the musicians, the female musicians that have stayed relevant over the years in, let, let me say, a male-dominated industry. How have you been able to do that? Um, I have an amazing team that stuck with me. So, you know, it's not just me, it's the whole team. And they're really, particular about the brand that we have created and how to maintain it and how to grow it and how to get it to be much more influencing than it is even now. So yeah, it's not just me. It hasn't been easy, but we're grateful for where we have come to. We can't mention your name without having to your, talk about your mom in a way. So um, I want to know, in what way has she influenced your career? In every way. My mom is my biggest inspiration. She makes me want to be better every day. She brings out the best in me. I'm grateful for her. She's my best friend. You know, she teaches me a lot daily. And I'm just grateful for it, that I have that kind of relationship with her, because it really helps. OK, so all the times that she's been doing the greetings from abroad stuff, where were you by then? Was she um, taking you around? Yeah, sometimes. Really? How old were you by then? It was probably between like the ages of three and ten. Oh, okay. Did you have any thought of becoming a musician? No, I didn't think I was going to be a musician until Stars of the Future. So Stars of the Future was like the... Mm -hmm. The gateway. I was singing before that though. I was singing in church and stuff, but I didn't think I was going to take it like up as a profession. Okay. And you were a duo. You we and were. Irene and Jane. Irene and I. Do you still hear from her? Yes, sometimes. Oh, okay. Yes. 
She's amazing. She's a big sister. And I got so much love for her, and she inspires me a lot. Do you expect anything from the two of you soon? I'm not sure. I mean, I believe that one day we'll make music together again. I'm not sure now. Yeah. Okay. On this note, let's take a break. When we come back, we delve more into her music and what she's up to. Stay tuned. Powers and principalities. There's so much fire inside me. Tragedy struck when part of the largest hillside at the kosher rubbish dump collapsed. It's going to be fun to see how he goes about approaching this game. Welcome back from that break. The gang gum herself is still here with us. <laughs> yeah, I see you roll a lot with um, some Nigerian producers, like sound engineers, Malik Berry and Co. Mm -hmm. How is it like working with them as compared to um, the Ghanaian um, record? Um, the music is always different when it comes from any producer, honestly. Um, everybody has their sound that they're creating and advancing, so it doesn't really matter where they come from you get me it's about the music that they're making and for every producer that i work with it's always a different experience i don't compare i don't compete you know and it's always beautiful if you do that because then you get the best out of the person all right you have quite a number of songs with sarko mm -hmm. which one was the hard the hardest never it's never been hard to make music with mike it's never been hard it's easy it comes to us naturally ever since so which of them is your favorite wow that's a thick thing that's a whole album i can't choose not right now <laughs> okay so who are you what's your favorite what's my favorite yeah. i'll you tell you, you know? no i'll tell you at the later part of the show i got you <laughs> so apart from sakwadi okay you let me, let's put sakwadi aside mm -hmm. who are you dying to have a collaboration i can't die to have no collaboration with dying anybody because then i won't be there to <laughs> <laughs> she who said who are you dying she said yearning <laughs> who do i want to work with i want to work with anybody that's as creative as me you know and expresses their musical prowess i want to work with people that like inspire me um, working with Tiwa was a very big deal for me because she's somebody that inspires me. Um, I'm looking forward to working with people like Burner Boy. Um, definitely do another song with Wiz, a couple more. Um, internationally, Doja Cat. Internationally, Jasmine Sullivan. Um, you know, Mali Music. It's a lot of people that I want to work with. Um, Salty Soul. Salty Soul is amazing. I definitely would like to do a song with Angelique Cujo. You know, it's a lot of people, but we're trying to reach as many as we can. And I believe that all we got to do is keep going and we're going to meet everybody that we want to meet. Mali Music is a gospel artist. Yes, I love gospel music. Oh, okay. Okay. I love, love, love gospel music. It makes me happy. Brings the joy of the Lord into my heart. So why haven't you so far done a gospel song? Yeah. I mean, we're developing it. Okay. We're developing it. Okay. Yeah. So, so far, if I ask you how many songs you have, can you be able to state? I mean, singles, probably up to 40 singles by now. 40 singles. Mm -hmm. Which of them is your like favorite? Other, and then singles features. with other people and features, yeah. All um, together. What's your favorite single? My favorite single right now is I, um, the one that I just dropped with Tiwa Savage. There's a video out. If you haven't seen it, go check it. It's classy, it's sexy, it's hot. I'm looking so good in that. It's like. Mm. But why is that your favorite though? Because uh, I just put it out. I'm enjoying it now. The world is loving it. You know, I'm loving it. I want you to go and love it too. But how did you get to you on that song? Um, we were just in the same place at the same time with the same vibes, mm -hmm. you know? It really happened naturally. 
you were at the same place. Literally, we were at the same place, in the same space, with the same vibes, with the producer. And I was doing the song, and she said she likes it. I said, all right, do a verse. And she did it. Mm, I know it's complicated sometimes to get artists to do work, but if I vibe with you, it's not that difficult to get me to do a song with you. All right. What do you think is lacking in the Ghanaian music industry currently? Um, financial support, I think, would be great for the artists, definitely, to help them to uh, broaden their horizon, you know, help with marketing and PR and stuff like that. You know. More money, guys. Can the government give us some dough? Speaking of government, what, you, what will be your assessment of government's performance as regards to the creative of art sector? You want me to talk about that? What? So nah, I can't talk about that. It's too deep. There's a lot of things that's involved that hasn't been settled yet. So if I talk about it, it's not, you know, it's not giving out the right information. So let me get my info right, okay? So the next time when I'm but talking about it, personally, I don't have any thoughts on it. I just feel like um, I'm sure they're doing their best. Are you sure they are doing their best? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Some of your colleagues are not saying same. Really? Yeah. yeah. I, cannot I cannot compare compared. myself to nobody. We are still on government, though. Wow, okay. What's yeah. up? What's up? Would you mind mm -hmm. picking sides? No. No. No, 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 no. I'm not saying that. That's not what I'm saying. What are you going to be saying? But. Would you mind ever being a government official? <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> Sorry, <I'm> <laughs> would you would you ever mind mm -hmm. creating a campaign song mm. for a political party? <laughs> Girl, you know the answer to the question. <laughs> no, I don't get involved with the politics, you know, honestly. It never it sometimes it ends well, sometimes it doesn't. It can affect your brand, you know, so you don't know how it will affect your brand. So I don't really get involved in that. Yes. Your top three musicians in the whole world. In the whole world? Aretha Franklin, Michael Jackson, Janet, um, hey, it's hard. Top three, Aretha Franklin, Michael Jackson. Hmm. Nat King Cole. Nat King Cole. Yeah. It's hard for you to choose. It's hard, it's hard. The music, nah, I listen to too much music and like absorb too much like different sounds to even be able to pick what kind of, like if you ask me what I'm listening to now, my playlist is like very, very dysfunctional. That's like me, so. With the music, it's, it's, it will be hard to pick, but I love different kind of music and I'm grateful for all the music that is coming out, even now the new music and like for the sound that um, is generating with the, with the Ghanaian like, you know, flair and stuff. It's beautiful. We thank God. Say cheese. Take a picture. <laughs> so, Say Cheese, take a picture. Mm -hmm. Have you ever thought of doing a remix? I thought of doing a cover to that song. I'm still, I'm still marinating it in my, in my head. But if I do, it would be awesome. Like, yeah, definitely it will be awesome. Yes, it will. Hi guys, it's your girl EFYA and you are watching Ghana Web TV. We are on Talkotainment. Check us out on YouTube. Ding dong. You are known to be a very lively person. Mm -hmm. Have you ever been depressed? Have I ever? Um, I think everybody has um, their the part of how feeling low and stuff, I wouldn't say depressed. Um, but I'm not always happy, you guys. <laughs> I have my bad days too. But we would want to know maybe if you're depressed, how you are able to come out of it. Um, when I feel low, I just think about how awesome my voice is and how God gave it to me for free and how I can still breathe. I'm just, I just be grateful for the things that I have, the things that are around me, my family. My family is such a strong part of my life and my friends, you know, my gingams. Then I think about the music that I'm about to make to give to the world. And then I'll be like, all right, I got stuff to do. So I got to chair up, I got to sit up, you know, 
get up, get out of the sadness, whatever it is, and concentrate on the things that I'm about to do. You feel me? Yes. What are your? Can you recall your worst moments ever mm. in the music industry? No. On stage. No. On stage. I don't think I've ever had a bad. I've never had a bad show. Mm. I've never fallen on stage. No, not show, but then maybe yeah. moment. Rehearsal, the like a worst everywhere. moment? Yeah, in the showbiz industry. Maybe um, someone did something to you, you heard something, anything. No. You've never had a worst moment. No, what's the worst moment? I wouldn't let anybody come and like dismantle my peace of mind. <laughs> What's the worst rumor you've heard about? I don't, I don't pay attention to them. There's a lot that goes around. Can you pay? You can't pay attention to all the rumors that's out there about you, especially if you're me. Really? Yeah. But Talk. you've been hearing quite a number of them. What? Which one did you hear? And you went like, hey, that's what this one did. Was that me or there was someone? I else? think people thought I had a baby for a while. Yeah. Yeah. That. that is Obviously. When you had it, what was the first thing that came to your mind? I was like, oh, that's nice. But no, <laughs> I don't have a child. I've never bonded before. <laughs> I have never bonded, guys. <laughs> so when do you intend to have I don't know about that. Uh, I'm not sure yet. Mm. What's about best moment? Best moment ever? So many best moments, wow. I think last year's performance at the VGMAs was awesome when I did that gospel song. It was really, really powerful. Um, girl Talk, all, all the Girl Talk shows have been really, really amazing moments for me. Um, performing out of Ghana also is very, very exciting. Last year we was at the summer stage performing in New York City, you know. So like, yeah, I think we've had a lot of best moments. Speaking of Girl Talk, is it ever going to happen again? Or? Of course. It's a generational blessing. But you're off it, or you're still going to handle it? I can't tell you that. I did it the last time it was me now, so we'll see. And they said I bowed out and I came back. I think, I think they like you. I think you are the face of Girl Talk. Any I think I am. Thing? It's beautiful. I love it. I mean, it's a great brand to be associated to, especially as a woman like me and I get to reach a whole lot of women and change lives and inspire so many women that it blows my mind all the time and if I had it I would love to do it forever it and make it bigger and international yeah and like worldwide you have a huge influence on women like especially yeah. in Ghana what do you plan to do with mm. such an advantage I'm just gonna make sure everybody keeps making money you know, we inspire the women, set up businesses, you know? Keep making money. Because the more you get powerful and fulfilled with yourself, then you love yourself more. You know, you see yourself, you're like, girl, you're doing good. You feel good about yourself. You can inspire your little sister. Because she's going to see you and be like, that's my big sister. Oh, she works hard, you know? So she's going to also be inspired by you. Then her little sister's going to see you and be like, ah, my two little big sisters. I don't play with them. You get me? Yeah. So everybody's looking at you to do the next thing so that they can be inspired. So when you're doing something, no matter how small it is, just know that somebody somewhere is being inspired by that small thing you're doing. So don't stop. Um, what do you call your kind of music? Is it soul? It's a, a, a little bit of Afro pop slash soul. Yeah. Like, you know. Okay. Why did you change your name from Jane to Ephia? Because there was a lot of Janes and there was only going to be one Ephia. And now there is. <laughs> Are you sure? I'm Ephia too. <laughs> you and me. <laughs> you could be an Ephia, but you wouldn't be me. And when they say it, they know it's me. So it's okay. I think I've made it very clear with the EFYA and everything, you know. But there are other Ephias in the music industry. Really that they call themselves e EFYA? But it's the same sound. What's your name? Effia. Do you spell your name E F Y A? Yes. Are you me? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, you're too cute. Stop. Why? You're adorable. 
I understand, <laughs> but we changed the name because there was a lot of Jays, there's a mm -hmm. lot of Jays in the world, but there was only going to be one F here. Miss V speaks highly of you. Yeah, because I love her so much and she feels it, even when I'm not around her. That's how I am. I'm like a magic, a magician of love. She said you he helped her recover. Did she? Yes. How did she? She really do it? just exposed um, <laughs> my. Um, <laughs> yeah. But I just gave her a lot of love and let her know that I was there for her, you know. Everybody goes through their stuff. And it's not easy because I know how it's like, you know. So, truly, this is really just being a friend and a sister. And I love being that for her because she's an awesome person and she deserves all the love and, like, you know, support. So if I could do it for her, it comes easy to me. When loving Miss V comes so easy to me. I don't even have to try. It's a very natural girl thing. Mm. Yes, and I'm so privileged that she loves me back as much as I love her. What don't Ghanaians know about Ifia? Um, that's a lot people don't know about me, but everything that you don't know about me is because it's really none of your business. <laughs> I... So if you feel like there's something you don't know about me, then you should know that it's not really your business. Because okay, everything that I, I need to let you guys know, and the most important thing I need to let you guys know is that I just put out a song with T. Was Savage, man. The, the video is out. It's hot. It's on YouTube. Go and watch it. Tell your friends. Tell your family. If you see the video on TV, go and watch it again on YouTube. Just to check. Check it out. But they are your fans, so at least give them one thing that they don't know about you. I don't think there's anything they don't know about me that they're not supposed to know. Will you tell me something about you that I'm not supposed to know? Because you're my fan? Tell me. Tell me. I'm not so listening. <laughs> Whisper it to my ear. Uh huh. You feel me? It's not, you know, we live a complicated life already. It's not easy being a woman in the industry. I really like to keep the focus on the music. I really love to keep the focus on the music. That's why, you know, you never hear my personal stuff in the business, you feel me? And I don't mix the business with the okay. other stuff, All right. you know? And keep focused on what it is that we're looking at, which is putting Ghanaian music on the continental map mm. and spreading our music far and wide. What projects are you currently working on? Um, we're working on an album, but we're going to drop singles till we drop the album. I'm not sure when it's going to be, hopefully in the end of the year. Um, but yeah, we're excited about the new music that we're making, working with new producers, writers and stuff. So it's really exciting. Okay, so apart from the album, so the one is also on, on the album? Definitely, it will be okay. on the album. So your fans should expect an album? Oh, yeah, hopefully. fingers crossed, guys. No promises though, but like, promises for me. I recently saw um, that you did a collaboration with Eden. Yes, guys, there's a new song out. It's called Ghana. I'm on it with Eden. It's on his EP. It's called Mood Swings. Go check it out. It's really, really lovely. I also got a song out with Akan. It's called Min Seda. Mad. Then I did a song with Ogarnia from Nigeria. It's called Wicked Person. We put out a lot of music this year. Priceless with Mugis was the first one that we dropped. If you haven't heard it, go check it out. Memini Wache. No time in Wache. You feel me? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so you're going to. <laughs> Don't give me that look. Hey, no, I'm not giving you any <laughs> look. Okay, so. I want you to sing. Mm -hmm. Your hook. Mm -hmm. On Sarah. Oh. And I love you, I want you, I need you, there's no one above you. Only one I love. That one. Yeah. <laughs> and no matter the place or the time, forever, my baby, you're the only one I love. Yeah. I'll be saying that for mm. you. And tis I will find me, Jimba. But I don't want to be able to I said, we share them off on fire. Family of your mind. Many of your most of the people. 
You look like we super in your crowd, so I know. Like, they said, no, I will super in your crowd. Okay. Mm. Uh, yeah, I'll not release you yet. You do another one. She's like, locking you know, me like, up like, for like, the music, guys. I like your guys. hook on. I think it's been in my head. I don't know what it's one. because I'm, I'm coming to interview you today. <laughs> The one you did with Manifest. I've been told oh, many, many years ago. ago. Oh, that's a good, that's such a my great song. Life, my life. land was, was full, full of gold. gold. And in the end, it is in the two Oh, so. if you're listening this song. Taking me high and high and high. Yeah, that part. Living in the night of rubber eyes. I don't know what it is. What's your job? You're just having me here singing for you doing the concert. <laughs> Mad, mad, mad. We're grateful for the music, guys. We have more coming for you, so stay tuned. Stay supportive. You know, we love you guys so much for the love that you give us. It's awesome. And I can't wait to see what we do next. Okay, so your last words? That was my last words. No. Go watch the video mm -hmm. with Siwa Savage, guys. It's mad. Effia as the greatest showwoman. Social what? media handles? What? E-F-Y-A underscore nocturnal, N-O-K-T-U-R-N-A-L. My Instagram the same as my Twitter. If you find me there, you find me here. Um, we have a new video out. We have new music coming. We're working on an album and a couple of projects, you know, for the Gingams. Hopefully, we can go outside soon, guys. But all I want to say is protect yourself. There's a virus out there. You don't want to, like, be a victim, okay? And wear your mask and wash your hands when you come back from outside and do what you can and do what you must. And if you don't have to go out, stay at home. God bless you. Yeah, like she said, she has a new single out, the one on YouTube, go check it out. It's a new video, very nice, interesting. Go watch it. Yes, I was speaking to Ifia. Ifia was my guest for today. This is Talk Attainment. I'll catch you next time. Till then, stay safe and stay blessed. Baby, nothing say I don't get mine on my own. And nothing say I don't get hard of my own. That say me that you day. That say me that you go. That say me that you day. But no things I don't get my mommy. Mommy, give it to me, mommy. Mommy, give it to me, mommy, mommy, mommy. Oh. Hey, give it to me, mommy. Mm -hmm. Baby, nothing say I don't get.